Hello everyone, praise the Lord, very good morning. I'm happy that God has helped us to meet together on this wonderful day that God has created for us. And uh, today as we meditate God's word through the spiritual breakfast session, may God speak to us and reveal his living word to us. May he impart his living word in our hearts that would, uh, that would be fruitful unto God alone. Today's meditation is from the book of Acts chapter 5 verse 26. At that, the captain went with his officers and brought the apostles. They did not use force because they feared that the people would stone them. We know that Peter and John were arrested and they were kept in the prison, the common prison. And uh, God sent his angel and rescued them. The Bible says the, the angel opened the gate and brought them out. The next day, uh, we, we saw that the uh, uh, jail was, the prison was well secured and even, even in the midst of that angel opened the gate and brought them out. And the next day they went uh, search for them but they could not find. And at that time uh, somebody comes and informs them, the person whom you have arrested is preaching over there the name of Christ. So, then this happens, at that the captain went with his officers. Captain brought all the officers, it, it means that the captain went with his force, in other words, went with all the soldiers. This captain of the army or the, or the part of the soul or army camp, he, he took the army men with him, he took his men with him, his officers with him, to bring Peter and John to Sanhedrin. So guess what is happening? He went with all the soldiers, but Bible says they did not use force. Peter and John, the apostles were not capable of it. Even when Jesus was arrested, Jesus uses the same word. He says, um, you have come with spears and all. Look at me. To arrest me, you have come like this. I was in the midst of you everywhere preaching about the kingdom of God. So they, they were not worth of bringing all the force. But they brought, guess what, they did not use any force. My dear brothers and sisters, your enemy may come against you with all the force he can. Your people against you uh, may form things against you, all the possible things against you. But remember, they cannot work with that. They cannot work with that. Guess what is happening? This captain goes with all the officers, but tells the apostles, would you come and uh, speak to the authorities? So this is, how it, uh, this is how we can picture it. Imagine a group of company of policemen coming to your house we can say the striking force is coming in their vans and the policemen are getting down the van and they, they have surrendered your house and the inspector is coming to your house and says, uh, would you please come and uh, come to the police station that, uh, for just an inquiry? How would it be? Imagine, they, they, have, come, they, have, come to, they have come in a way, they, they are going to speak to a terrorist but the inspector is coming to you and politely asking you, would you come and speak to us for a moment? That is what is happening. They came, they went as an as a, as a, as a army men, thinking that this man is a huge man, but they could not execute it. Because God was with Peter and John. Yes, when God is with you, however enemy forms his weapons against you, he cannot use those. Because God is on your side. God bless you.